In this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at using the PasteJet freight quoting functionality, but making it available through the PasteJet API as a connected service into any software or cloud application. So we'll jump right in here. If you've seen other video demos on PasteJet, this is the screen for uh, the, uh, the rate and ship screen where we, we do a lot of different processing for quoting and shipping. Uh, and we're going to back up here, though, and look at using the API to interact with PasteJet as you might connect it to an application uh, like an e-commerce website or an ERP or a WMS. Now, in PasteJet, there are a number of different tools around the API. There's some online samples in particular where you can uh, interact with the API electronically. And we're going to use the quotes uh, endpoint as a starting point here, and then we'll go and look at another endpoint that you might use for an e-commerce website. So when we send a quote in. In this case, it could be from an, uh, an order, a sales order, a transfer order, or any other potential shipment. So we're not actually in the fulfillment process when we're dealing with a quote. We're in a potential fulfillment process. So we want to be able to give information on prices and costs and all of that to customers up front. Now, in this case, the quotes endpoint is set up for kind of an interactive workflow. So when you send in the quote, it gives you back a URL that you can redirect the user to use our user interface on the rate and ship screen to run your quote. So when the user uh, clicks a button or clicks a link, or as soon as they, they process uh, the quote in their ERP, it pops up this quoting screen. You can then run the freight quote. It will automatically connect all the carriers, present the results. User can make a selection, and it will update that system, whether it's an ERP or a WMS system. Now, we're starting here because I want to give you a sense of the kind of detail that you have available to you and the core information that's coming in. And then we'll back up and use a different endpoint to show you how you have full control over the user interface to use the same kind of functionality in, let's say, an e-commerce website where you might have different steps that you're working through and you need to control the user interface uh, more tightly based on what you want to show. So if you notice here, the detail that comes back when you do a quote includes not only the carriers that are activated in the system and their services, various service levels like guaranteed service and so forth, but you can see pricing, cost, uh, transit time details along with the calculated arrival date that we create. So if you don't like our arrival date, you can use the transit time information that we provide. All of that is visible. So you can decide what do you want to use in that information as you think about the use case with your users. Now that's based upon the detail that came in uh, from your application. So of course it's got address information, but it also has the ability to accept fully packed shipments or you can send us item information and we can do what's auto what's called auto packing or predictive packaging where we arrange the items in containers as a way to get much more accurate freight quotes. Uh, there are also features like the ability to identify special services that uh, need to be accounted for in the quotes, uh, the ability to send in, you know, handle international and so forth. So that's a first look at what the quoting process looks like. Now let's back up here. We use the quotes endpoint to send it in so that we could do it interactively. If you're using an e-commerce website, you're probably going to want to do it in one step. For that, we provide a rates endpoint that operates very similarly, but a little bit different in terms of the information. So I'm going to post uh, in here a request which has the same information, but it also includes some special license keys that you need in order to run uh, the quote through this endpoint. Now, when you send a quote in this way, it immediately does the same kind of processing that you saw in the user interface, but it does it all in one step. So it sends the information in on the addresses, it sends in the any LTL options that you want in the basis of tutorials or extended, it sends in uh, any special service codes, all of that is sent in. Uh, if you send in item information and we auto pack, that's fine. And then you get back in one request all the various carrier responses. So you get you know, Conway, XPO, uh, now, the freight cost, the freight price, you get the transit time detail, you get our calculated arrival date, and then you can decide how do you want to present that to the user. So this is very useful for e-commerce websites that are thinking, well, I want to provide some freight options for my customers, or maybe I want to provide freight and extended parcel. So I want UPS parcel and I want FedEx parcel, uh, but I might want FedEx freight and UPS freight for some kinds of products, or maybe I want a regional parcel carrier. All those different options that you might want to have now or as your business grows, you can use them through PasteJet because you can turn carriers on and off and you just have one process to provide that freight quoting process out to 
uh, your e-commerce website or your other application. Well, that's enough for this demonstration. Hopefully that gives you a sense of how to use the Pitch Dead API. It's a RESTful interface that allows you to pretty easily send information right into PageJet, get electronic responses. You can control the user interface and you can use uh, PageJet processing for any of our carriers in our uh, network of LTL, Parcel, and 3PL services.